Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another entry for my October horror movie review series. So this is a different movie. I'm sure some of you have heard of this and some of you have not. It's not technically a horror film, but it kind of is. I don't know if it would be categorized, but I think most people who have watched this feel horrific afterwards. So it is the 1978 Watership Down. The synopsis is, hoping to escape destruction by human developers and save their community, a colony of rabbits seek out a safe place to set up a new warren. I'm trying to think, I can't pinpoint how I found out about this. I was, I know I had to do with some type of countdown of like the most disturbing scenes in like an animated film or children's film and I don't think this made the cut I think it made the um honorable mentions and I was like ooh, what is that film so and I just saw people saying like oh this scarred me as a kid blah 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 so of course I didn't see this when I was a kid I don't think I saw anything like this when I was a kid I'm starting to understand like why people felt the way that they felt because most of the people who watched this were kids when they watched it so it made sense and it made sense why it wasn't the same for me you know watching it as an adult so anyway i'm not i'm going to try to not spoil it and so i'll start with my cons then my pros and then my ratings so i would say my cons i think one of my biggest cons is that everything moved really fast um i just felt like in the beginning we didn't really get a good setup of what was going on it just started like the drama just started right as soon as everything started i mean of course there's a prologue of how it was basically like a adam and eve type of story but with rabbits or animals i guess but when they got past the prologue or the story the intro and they got to the characters it just felt like shit hit the fan as soon as the story started and so i don't know i just kind of wish that they showed more of their life before everything went downhill so i didn't know how to feel about the character kahar I, I thought he was hilarious but i was like what is this accent i'm like i don't i'm not good with accents but i was like i'm trying to understand like he just sounds like a mix of like a native american person a nigerian and like a freaking i don't know like chinese person but i'm looking him up now and he was eastern european so i just that's not really a con but i was like should i be laughing at this because this is a little offensive a little offensive so yeah those are my only cons um the pros I just think overall it did well with the creepiness like you know the one character having like premonitions about something coming it just intensified the story for me it just had a creepy feel that I don't even I, I feel like I don't get that in like today's horror films um, but I got it in this film I, I like the score I just somewhat like the story of, of just kind of fighting for freedom and the fact that it's not it's, it's a bumpy road it's a gory road it's not a it's not a clean and clear and safe thing but this is I mean to me it kind of represents um different movements throughout throughout um history uh, when I was watching that I kept on thinking about Harriet Tubman and anybody else who was similar to her as far as like freeing slaves and the fact that it is a very brave thing to do you know i also uh, some of the other things i thought of i thought of let me think let me think i thought of the rescuers because just i think the rescuers came out around this time let me yeah 1977 so and then this film was 1978 so i just kind of thought of the colors and um especially with some of the scenes it just felt like it was just like this still painting and and the rescuers they had that in like the intro I thought of children of the corn because of the eeriness and I think what also added to the eeriness is that this is like it's animated there's a lot of bright colors but there's still like <laughs> it's like brightness combined with like goriness and violence so I think that's what makes the, the film also um dark and creepy also their voices you know they're they're all adults 
and they all have adult voices and they're British. So I don't know that all of that just made it very kind of scary to me. So yeah, I thought of Harriet Tubman, The Rescuers, Jojo and the Corn. And then this is another dark movie. It's a Brazilian movie called Pushto. I don't know if I'll review that. It's not a horror film, but it's kind of similar to this. Like things that the, the things that happen in this film are horrific, but it reminds me of this because um, in Pushto is these young boys, like kids, who get arrested and have to deal with the horrors of, of prison, but when they escape, it's like it almost gets worse because they're out in the world and they're dealing with, I don't want to say even worse, but like it's still a bad situation once they escape prison. So I kind of felt like that when I was watching this because you know when these animals were created without giving too much away but it's like they're created and they're like at the bottom of the food chain like these rabbits are at the bottom of the food chain in the story and in life you know and when I was watching this I'm like okay they're trying to get out of this situation but I'm like it's gonna be even worse once they get out in the real world or once they get out of their colony and that's exactly what happened and it reminded me of Pashto because that's what happened to these kids as well it's like you you're leaving you're escaping a, a messed up situation just to enter another messed up situation so another thing that I thought of when it started was I always find it so interesting like the older I get when I look at animals and, and humans are the same way but that really it's almost like all animals are are equipped to somewhat survive life like obviously they don't all survive but you know you think of like a small animal like in this case like rabbits and you're like oh you know a fox could get um a, a dog a um I'm trying to think like you know like big I don't know bears eat rabbits but you know you think of big animals but then you think of the fact that rabbits are fast so that's like their way of somewhat surviving this stuff you know you think of turtles being slow but they have their hard shells you know and you think of butterflies being flimsy and small but they're fast and then also when they open their wings it it actually a lot of times scares certain animals you know because they think it's like big eyes so I just always find it interesting that every animal and insect for the most part are created in a way to survive based off of their size or their quickness or whatever you know some some animals are just shit out of luck like when I see worms I'm like what the fuck are they supposed to do <laughs> like <laughs> they just be out on the side they're kind of dumb if you ask me like it rains and they're just out there you know but like you know there's some there's some insects that are super small you can't even see them. and then there's some insects that are small but they like blend in to trees and dirt and things like that so that's why I thought of because um that was kind of explained in the beginning as well as far as rabbits so yeah I think it just represents life you know you deal a little bit with with not a little bit but you deal with death in this and I don't know if it was targeted to kids because I know sometimes when you go back in the day there were animated stories that weren't necessarily made for kids but I don't maybe this one was and it's just it was realistic it didn't sugarcoat anything but at the same time like you know I saw a lot of people say this about this movie but I'm like uh, a lot of dis I mean most of Disney films parents get killed <laughs> so <laughs> this is not the only movie but I think that this movie was it's very dark compared to a lot of those other films like a Bambi or or whatever Dumbo but it definitely it definitely felt like an allegory for um like humans in different parts of the world and different parts of history so but I will say you know like I said, I had seen a, a clip of the one scene that a lot of people talk about in this, and it was actually really short. <laughs> I was waiting for that scene, but it was really short. Um, and me personally, like, you know, this this is a is a dark film, but it wasn't like dark, dark. I guess because I'm like older, and like I said, I think a lot of people saw this as kids. So if I would have saw this shit as a kid, oh, I would have been done. I would have been done because I hated seeing blood as a kid like I 
hated that with a passion. Like it, it just sent shivers down my spine. So this definitely would have got me, but I'm glad I didn't see it as a kid. But yeah, so um, definitely not watching it again. Maybe, and this was based off of a book as well, based on the 1972 novel by Richard Adams. So I don't know if I'll read it or not, but definitely it's only a one watch type of film. Um, so it's very depressing very depressing um there was there were a lot of funny moments especially from the bird but um definitely don't show it to your kids unless you want to traumatize them i would give watership down a eight out of ten if you have seen this film um put your thoughts below if you saw it when you were a kid you know if you've never seen it um if you like it if you don't like it what were some of the the symbolisms that you you know found in in this film let me know um so like comment subscribe and look forward to my next video thanks for watching